Today we're making a layered cocktail. I think I went crazy again. So, um, layered cocktail shooter, Sunday night shooters. This episode is brought to you by our fans. You can show your support at everydaydrinkers.tv slash donate. You guys are like the grenadine in our tequila sunrise. Without you, we just have alcoholic orange juice. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today, we're going to create a Sunday night shooter layered cocktail. This recipe was submitted by Gold Limed Clouds, the Creamy Cocoa Nanner. I have no idea what the name comes from. Cocoa, I guess, could represent chocolate as opposed to coconut because there's no coconut in here, but there is chocolate. This recipe is layered, and I had to change the layer up a little bit, did a little prim before the show primping, if you will, and um, on your stream live. And it didn't, it didn't, it didn't layer right because they had the 99 bananas as first, and 99 bananas being 49.5, yeah, 49.5 percent alcohol tends to go to the top, so you are constantly pushing into the top, which is okay for some alcohols, but with a clear one, it starts to make fogginess when you bring in this chocolate and this crazy uh, Cool Swan or, or Irish cream if that's what you want to use. I call it an audible. I'm using Cool Swan. This recipe, I'm going to just pour in approximately a half ounce because I'm almost out of my my Godiva. This is a milk chocolate kind of flavor. And it doesn't say that. It just says chocolate liqueur. Now, I'm confused because I pulled out this one. And it just says original. These two are different. And I haven't figured out why because their, their marketing isn't giving me the right answer I need to know. And they don't say anything about it. No stories. So... Can I have a, come on, fix it. Product confusion. I don't know what this is, but that one's darker than this one. So, it's this more creamy. one, yeah, this one you said was better, a little more milk chocolatey. So think milk chocolate when you're, when you're picking your chocolate liqueur for this. And uh, the recipe ingredients, you probably want to keep them close to the same because it's layered. Otherwise, they'll fall into each other if you don't do it right. And I, I, I don't mean do it right like it's hard to layer, but things become much easier to layer when they have the right densities. Is it relative density? I can't even remember now. Yeah. Because their physically weight, their weight is different. It'd be like if you wanted to layer two people or three people on top of each other, and you said, well, the third one has to be John. And John is a seven-year-old kid, and then there's another John, and he's like a 500-pound sumo wrestler. Uh, they might have the same name, but they're not the same weight. Do not layer a sumo wrestler on top of three other people. Or four. Plus that would make for the weirdest porno. Alright. So if you're using Bailey's, it's, it's probably going to be hard to find the layer because one is white in this case. If you use Bailey's, you're going to get a, a tan and a tan. And it unless might, you use that dark one. Unless you use the, the other Godiva, this is true. Then you may see it. But I found that this looks better, and I, will have, I, I wanted to use Cool Swan because they've been supporting our fans for a couple weeks now. When and they've it had rocks. Questions. <laughs> yep. Anybody who wants to support my viewers? It's really the best, in my opinion, the best Irish liqueur. It is. Oh, measures. So for this, it's one ounce from the 99 bananas one ounce of the chocolate liqueur and a half ounce of Irish cream. I licked the spoon. That's pro. So you're, you're going to get a thinner layer in the middle. I'm going to apply ghetto zoom. Why does my camera seem so much further back than it used to be? Because you can place it forward. Oh. Yeah, it used to be closer, right? Maybe. There you go. So uh, it kind of looks pretty cool. It looks like an ice cream. How you feeling over there? <laughs> <laughs> She's had two so far. Here we go. How do you do that without a face? That's that's hot. I'm professional. <laughs> the the 99 bananas is just eye watering, warm. Like yeah, there's a sting to it. There is a there's a definite burn. But before I say go on in the fire, this is something banana, and this is something monkeys would like. 
it's got like a chocolate banana. Yeah. It's like a banana split. I think somebody said that in the chat room. Sounds like a banana split. Yeah, kind of. If but you it's do more it chocolate banana. It's like a chocolate covered banana. But chocolate sauce. Yeah, but banana split has that ice cream to it. That doesn't have ice cream to it. Chocolate ice cream. <laughs> no, it doesn't. So chocolate covered banana. Kind of like a chocolate covered strawberry. Probably true. If you were to slice bananas into those little wheels and then scoop it in some chocolate. Yes. Put it in your mouth. Yes. That is the root flavor. The difference between doing that, which sounds tasty, and doing this is the extreme burn from the beginning through the finish. The 99 bananas, you could probably lit it on fire too. The 99 bananas start hot and hot like alcohol burn hot. You don't get a lot of alcohol taste. It's just, it's bright, cold flavored burn. And it, it's it's right up front, makes your eyes tear a little bit, and then I still have a little bit of it. And not as much as the sore throat thing going on, but it is, it's like all kind of warm here. Mine went away quick. Well, you wash but it down the second But then again, I'm professional. <laughs> Uh, the Irish cream should help uh, cool it down a little bit, but the chocolate plus Cool Swan's got that nuance of white chocolate in there on top of having chocolate in there and the banana. Come on, this is nothing but pure awesome. If you use Bailey's, you may get a it's little more, more alcohol. Burn. Yeah, you're gonna get more burn from that whiskey burn. You don't get as much of that from the the Cool Swan. So, so there you go. That oh, question of the day. <laughs> what is, what do you think would make or is a good cocktail? For weddings. Or. Or. What is a good cocktail for funerals? For a funeral. After a funeral. After no, a funeral. Normally people yeah, don't drink you don't, at you, funerals. <laughs> you might. But they could start. And it might depend. If it was a funeral for a sailor, it might be a duck fart. Shot. Could be. Um, if it, you know, I would say, since I sometimes have to answer these, for weddings, the Cloud Nine, or something like that, a cream-based cocktail that's got a nice pale blue to it, um, or pink. I probably wouldn't go with kinky liqueur. That would probably be for more of a bridal shower. Maybe. Kinky. Or bachelor party. Bridal shower. <laughs> uh, or, yeah, or a bachelor party. Um, I'm thinking no. No. Um, not bachelors in pink. No, you're right. Well, it depends on how many other women are there that you're paying. a bachelor party? That you're paying for. Oh, yes. Um, and then for funeral, I would probably go with something scotch based or the godfather or something that's got a little edge on it because you're trying to you're trying to take all those feelings and push them deep down inside and the best way to do that would be with a potent great <laughs> potent cocktail oh that was great i cracked myself up so there you go that is the creamy cocoa nanner a chocolate covered banana recipe for you everydaydrinkers.tv for sunday night shooters remember bit.ly slash every shirt. <laughs> you don't even oh, remember. <laughs> everyday shirt. I still have it on my table. Everyday shirt. And I try and link them down there. I've had a lot of people click on them, but nobody actually buying them yet. But we'll wait. Well, marketing. I know they're expensive. $30 for performance tea. It's like the stretchy ones that are really but they're nice. they're nice. They're super nice. I got to get. Oh, and then after this, we're, um, you know what? You need to watch the live view stream if you want to get the rest of the information. <laughs> 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 All right. We're teaching you how to drink.